If you're interested in buying Adidas' flagship speed boot this year, you actually have two different options to choose from. That's because along with releasing the new X Crazy Fast Point 1, Adidas has also gone ahead and released the X Crazy Fast Plus. Now, neither one of these boots is actually objectively better than the other. Instead, they represent two completely different design concepts. So in this video, we're going to be going over all of the features of both boots to help you find out which one might be best for you. So to start things off, let's talk about the design differences between these two football boots. So as far as the upper is concerned, these are both very lightweight football boots that have thin and minimal uppers that are going to give you that barefoot feel on the ball. With the X Crazy Fast Point 1, you're going to have Adidas's Aeropacity Speed Skin, which is going to be this really thin mesh upper material with a really slick coating. It's soft to the touch, but it still has a decent amount of structure to it, so it doesn't feel too flimsy by any means. And keep in mind, this is a one-piece upper football boot, so it's connected through the tongue with this stretchy prime knit material. And that prime knit is going to extend all the way throughout the tongue around the collar, helping you get a little bit more tightness and lockdown around your ankle. Overall, the design of this upper has been pretty consistent with what we saw last year in the Speed Portal and the year before in the Speed Flow. It's a continuous one-piece upper with a thin synthetic and then prime knit stretchy material around the tongue. That being said, I will note that the Crazy Fast Point 1 is an improvement over last year's Speed Portal just in terms of comfort. The upper is definitely a little bit softer and less rigid. Now moving on to the upper that's in the X Crazy Fast Plus, we have Adidas' creatively named Aeropacity Speed Skin Plus. Now this upper is slightly thinner, not just by feel, but also by looks. Because you can see at certain parts of this boot that the upper is visibly translucent and you can see straight through it. It kind of reminds me of how thin the older Puma Ultra 1.4 was, if you remember that model. So it's no surprise that this plus variation is a few grams lighter than the Crazy Fast Point 1. But the bigger difference with the design of these uppers isn't the material themselves, it's rather the fact that the Crazy Fast Plus is not a one-piece upper. Instead of that one-piece design, it's going to have a thin, standalone tongue with a traditional lacing system. And it's the tongue and lacing system that's going to give the Crazy Fast Plus a completely different feel compared to the Point 1. And we're going to be discussing that more in depth later in this video. Then underneath the upper on the Crazy Fast Point 1, Adidas is going to have their Aero Cage, which is essentially just a structural inner liner to add a little bit more structure and support to the boots. And this inner liner is essentially the same on the Crazy Fast Plus, the only main difference being that it's called the Aero Cage Plus. The only thing I will note is that there's a little bit less material on the Aero Cage Plus that's in the Crazy Fast Plus, and you can kind of see that because all of those portions that are translucent on the upper, that's because there's no inner liner there. Then moving on to the sole plate of these football boots, there's actually not too much to discuss here as these two boots actually have pretty much the same outsole. And that's going to be the speed frame outsole that came over from the XP portal from last year. Now just as it was last year, this outsole is really snappy, light, and aggressive. It's going to have these really sharp bladed chevron studs that are going to be great for traction on natural grass fields, and it's missing the Carbotex insert that the previous generation Speedflow had, but the plastic insert that's in here is just as snappy in my opinion. The only thing about this sole plate that I'm not a huge fan of that I discussed in my review of the Crazy Fast Point 1 is I think that it could be a little bit less rigid throughout the toe box here just to provide a little bit more of a snap. Instead, it's very rigid all the way from the heel to the toe. But other than that, I think it's a great speed boot outsole. Now time to move on to the most important category in my opinion, and that's the fit and feel of these boots. Now, as we've already covered, the Crazy Fast Point 1 is going to have that one-piece upper construction with the prime knit down the center that's going to deliver that sock-like feeling on your feet. And another thing that I noticed when wearing these boots is that the prime knit is actually pretty tight around the collar here and throughout the top of your foot. So despite the fact that the Crazy Fast Point 1 does come with laces shipped, you actually don't need to tie them very tight because if you're buying these boots true to size like I did, they actually fit really snug just out of the box. They're pretty snug throughout the midfoot as I mentioned, but there is a little bit of room towards the toe box so you're not going to feel like your toes are getting crushed in any way. I did notice while I was playing there was a little bit of bunching up towards the top of the toe box area when I was taking steps and the boots would crease, but other than that the upper felt really comfortable. It definitely reminds me a little bit more of how the X Speed Flows fit from about two to three years ago compared to the X Speed Portal. I felt the Speed Portal was a little bit too rigid as far as the upper was concerned, whereas the new Crazy Fast Point 1 definitely has a little bit more softness and pliability. Then in comparison to the Crazy Fast Point 1, the X Crazy Fast Plus is not a one-piece upper construction, so it's not going to have that same sock-like feeling. Instead, it's going to have more of a traditional feeling that a centralized lacing system and U-throw construction is going to give you. And one thing I like about the X Crazy Fast Plus is with that lacing system, you do get a little bit more adjustability. So if you want to make it a little bit tighter throughout the midfoot or closer towards the toes and maybe a little bit looser around the ankle, you can do that. 
You have a similar amount of room in the toe box as the sole plates are gonna be identical, but just because the upper is thinner, I did feel like there was a little bit more space and room in the Crazy Fast Plus. If you remember the original Adidas F50 from 10 to 20 years ago, these boots are actually designed almost inspired by those boots. They're basically taking a traditional football boot design, but stripping it down to the lightest and thinnest material possible. So it's also no surprise that the Crazy Fast Plus is the lightest football boot that's currently on the market. Although I really like the adjustability of the X Crazy Fast Plus with that traditional lacing system, there are a couple drawbacks with the design you might want to consider. Most importantly, you're not going to have that prime knit around the ankle, so if you do appreciate the lockdown you get from the 0.1 variation, you're not going to have that same close feeling in the plus variation. But for those that find that more intense lockdown around the ankle and the elastic material a little bit too claustrophobic, you might actually prefer that traditional system that's offered in the Crazy Fast Plus. As far as personal preferences go, I will say that I am a bigger fan of the design of the Crazy Fast Plus just because I really like having that adjustability in the traditional lacing system. Then as far as playability is concerned, this is obviously going to be down to personal preference as well, but these boots are both going to offer a really thin and barefoot feel as I mentioned earlier. You're gonna have that really responsive and snappy feeling from that speed frame outsole in both of the boots. I almost felt like I was wearing a laceless football boot while I was playing in the Crazy Fast Point One, just because of all that prime knit and the sock-like feeling, but I do think I slightly prefer the more traditional design of the Crazy Fast Plus. And I also appreciated that the upper was just a little bit thinner on feet, so I feel like it's gonna offer you a slightly closer touch on the ball as well. Moving on to another key difference between these football boots, we have the value. Because the X Crazy Fast Point 1 is going to come in at a retail price of $260, whereas the X Crazy Fast Plus is going to cost you a whopping $300. Now I will say, I think it's pretty hard to justify spending $300 on a pair of football boots, but I will just mention that the Crazy Fast Plus is doing something that almost no other current speed boot is doing on the market. And that's because pretty much almost every other speed boot that you can find from a high-end brand is going to be offering that one-piece upper that's similar to the Crazy Fast Point 1. However, the only brand I can think of doing a more traditional design is Mizuno with their Alpha model. But honestly, these are both really premium price points. If you're going to be spending $260 or $300 on a boot, you should be expecting amazing quality, and I think both of the boots do deliver on that. So at the end of the day, if you're on the market for a speed boot from Adidas right now, which one of these should you actually buy? Well, if you're into sock-like one-piece uppers similar to what Adidas has been releasing in previous years, then I would definitely recommend going with the Crazy Fast Point One. However, if you do prefer the more open feeling and adjustability of that traditional lacing system, or you maybe just want to have the lightest football boot around, I would recommend going with the X Crazy Fast Plus. So that's going to do it for this video. Let me know if you've gotten the chance to try on either of these football boots and which one you prefer. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.